Hey guys, this is Mike with JMD Yu-Gi-Oh! back with another anime character deck profile. This one's going to be a little bit special. Uh, it's going to actually going to cover a couple different characters. Gozumaro Kaiba, um, Adrian Gecko, as well as even the rare hunter that played the Exodia deck. Because we are going to be highlighting an Exodia anime style deck. So of course that is going to have uh, the broken three pieces of each. So again, feel free to like, subscribe, and comment down below who you would like to see next. But let's go ahead and get started. So first we're gonna start off with, of course, the uh, first set of pieces, the Lost Art Exodia pieces, um, as well as our LOB set. And then we are actually waiting for our gold set, uh, but this is just the Yugi uh, Legendary deck little set there. So good 15 cards of this deck here right there. And then we'll get into the next portion, which is gonna be the Exodia related cards. So we have one of the biggest win cons in the deck by far, Legendary Exodia Incarnate. Um, aside from actually drawing Exodia, that's basically the only other way you win. Uh, then we have Exodia, the Legendary Defender, as well as Exodius here. Exodius sometimes gets out, but it's, it's not super uh, common. But then honestly, somewhat of another win con, if it you know remains unanswered, is Exodia Necros, with of course, Contract with Exodia. Um, so those are the other Exodia-related cards. Again, mainly using this to win, aside from actually drawing Exodia, as well as occasionally these three. So, and then let's get into the other few other monsters that kind of facilitate the uh, drawing of the deck, as well as again, you know, this goes off of some of the other characters in the story, as far as Gecko, Kaiba, Zo Go Gozuboro Kaiba specifically, as well as the Rare Hunter. So some of these are kind of related with those deck uh, profiles. So we got a, a Mad Reloader, we have a Deep Diver, and then a Vortex Trooper. All cards that can help you facilitate drawing into more pieces and other ways of drawing into more and more and more. So that does it for the monsters. Let's go ahead and get into the spells and traps, which is probably the meat of it. Um, Started off with the Mystical Space Typhoon, just so you have one way of dealing with some sort of uh, spell and trap. And then a couple, actually more like a lot, uh, draw spells. We have Reload, we have Pot of Avarice, and then of course the band, <laughs> uh, Painful Choice. Again, Painful Choice is amazing. Especially that coupled with like an Exodian Incarnate is bonkers. Just fill up the graveyard with a bunch of different pieces and then throw out a 4,000, 5,000 Exodia. It's pretty darn good. And then a few more draw-related spells. We have Heart of the Underdog. That can get out of hand pretty quick. Card Destruction, of course, classic. A couple more classics, Pot of Greed, as well as Graceful Charity. And then one more little card here. We have Pot of Duality, our last of the draw spells. And we also have a platinum rare, actually, uh, Swords of Revealing Light. Of course, just needing to stall is pretty much the big focus of the deck. And then Ties of the Brethren. I uh, used that, uh, I saw in a couple other profiles, and so I kind of copied off of them. I really like the tech of throwing that in there just to get some additional you know, fodder out there as well as eventually filling up the graveyard that way too. Um, another way of doing that as well is Enchanting Fitting Room. And then the last but not least spell is Feather of the Phoenix. Helps facilitate some of those cards back from the graveyard on top of the deck. And then again, this is going to be a quick little deck profile. Again, very basic linear strategy. So we're going to have a few more traps here. We have the one and only Obliterate. Again, broken card. Um, this can change the game on a dime. We have Jar of Avarice, another draw spell. Backup Soldier, a really, really good card. Um, I think I've won a couple games in a single turn by that card, and uh, it's pretty satisfying. And of course, the last card, another um, Floodgate, Swords Revealing Light-esque type of card. Uh, just to stall, really, Dimensional Prison. So, again, that's a quick little Yu-Gi-Oh! Exodia deck profile for you guys. If you liked it, please drop a like and let us know who you'd like to see next. Alright, see ya.